Muted, a Spanish psychological thriller set in Bilbao, quickly became the second most streamed non-English speaking series on Netflix within the first week of release. This psychological thriller straddles the line between suspenseful intrigue and a bemusing spectacle. Revolving around the troubled young man Sergio, who was imprisoned for allegedly killing his parents, the series takes us on an unusual journey, offering a blend of suspense, mystery, and psychological elements. Over six episodes, we traverse the peculiar dynamics between a selectively mute convict, a seemingly obsessed psychiatrist, and a pen pal with ulterior motives. The narrative unfolds around an ethically dubious experiment. Sergio, silent for years, is released from juvenile detention and returned to the scene of his crime, a high-rise apartment where his parents met their untimely end. With a personal connection to the case and backed by a team of investigators, Psychiatrist Anna then monitors Sergio through hidden cameras and microphones. Anna's disturbing obsession with Sergio forms a significant part of the storyline. At the same time, Marta, Sergio's prison pen pal, also becomes entangled in the web of this twisted narrative. The muted plot uncovers a series of episodes, each packed with drama and thrills. Ader Gabalondo's psychological thriller opens with a husband and wife collapsing off a balcony and the subsequent discovery of Aaron Piper's character, Sergio Siscar. As a result of his parents' deaths, Sergio has been imprisoned for six years. Anna Duswell, played by Almudena Amor, begins bugging Sergio's apartment when he is released from juvenile detention. Sergio, infamous as the balcony killer for allegedly killing his parents, is under Anna's watch to check if he's unstable and will snap. The team's task is to determine Sergio's psychological state and potential threat level as he reintegrates into society. As part of his release, Sergio works at a greenhouse, where an altercation with a man named Guillaume occurs. Anna jumps to conclusions and believes Sergio is directly responsible for Guillaume choking on the poisoned air at the greenhouse. Meanwhile, Sergio reconnects with a young woman named Marta, who is his sister Noah's superfan. Anna uses Marta in her operation, persuading her to get close to Sergio and gather information about him for her psychological analysis. In the next episode, Sergio and Marta grow closer. Sergio says he's been trying to find his sister Noah. He believes that Noah is still alive and wants to see her. During this time, Sergio also has a strained relationship with his parole officer, Natanael, due to his religious views. Anna, who monitors Sergio, starts to doubt the official version of the story concerning Sergio's parents' deaths. However, when she tries to investigate further, she is stopped by Cabrera, overseeing the investigation. Anna investigates Noah's videos and finds a clue linking Sergio to Blanca, his mother. Anna continues her investigation and discovers that there might be a conspiracy to frame Sergio for the murders. In the midst of all this, Sergio and Marta grow closer and closer. Anna becomes increasingly invested in the case, leading others to question her, and a system failure occurs, suggesting Cabrera's involvement. Anna discovers Blanca's experiments on Sergio and breaks into his apartment, but she can flee when Sergio returns. Greta and the investigators catch Anna inside the apartment, raising doubts about her actions. The central question of the series is whether Sergio killed his parents. He insists that his mother was abusive and experimented on him and his sister, Noah. In trying to protect Noah, Sergio recalls attacking his mother. Still, he believes his father accidentally pushed her to her death and committed suicide out of guilt. However, Noah, the only witness to the event, later reveals that Sergio was indeed the one who killed both of their parents. His mother was not abusive, but was trying to manage Sergio's unstable mental state with medication. Eventually, it's revealed that it's Anna who's holding Noah. It is also evident that Sergio's parents were experimenting on him. However, the reason behind Sergio's parents' deaths still remains unclear and mysterious. As the series progresses, Anna becomes increasingly obsessed with Sergio, seeing a lot of herself in him. She is also unable to fit in, and her life is essentially a performance of normality. In Sergio, she sees a sense of authenticity and potential connection that she finds compelling. This leads her to take her relationship with him too far, 
to the point where she becomes unstable and tries to force a connection that isn't there. The ending of the series is ambiguous. It is implied that Sergio may have killed Anna by pushing her from the same balcony where his parents died. However, there is also a possibility that Anna pushed Sergio to his death, perhaps in a strange attempt to become him. The only certainty is that they both go to the balcony together, but only one of them remains standing while the other falls to their deaths. The performances in Muted are commendable, with the actors breathing life into their characters despite the sometimes disjointed narrative. The cinematography is equally noteworthy, lending the series an eerie, captivating aesthetic. The use of hidden cameras provides a unique perspective, making viewers almost complicit in the invasive surveillance of Sergio. Muted excels in its ability to keep viewers guessing. The series dangles whether Sergio murdered his parents like a carrot, nudging audiences forward with each episode. The revelation is a double twist that redefines the characters involved and their motivations. However, the plot sometimes leans too heavily on the absurd, creating a disconnect between the audience and the characters' actions. Therefore, despite its intriguing premise, Muted has some issues. The series is self-serious, and the ethical implications of the experiment on Sergio are pretty disturbing. The narrative can also be hard to follow due to its various plot lines and the sometimes unclear motivations of the characters. In addition, Muted ends on an ambiguous note, with the fates of Sergio and Anna left unclear. This ambiguity might appeal to some viewers who enjoy open-ended stories. Still, it may frustrate others who prefer clear-cut resolutions. One of the most glaring issues is the need for more depth in some areas of the series, logical inconsistencies, and sometimes dull performances. 2. The covert operation to monitor Sergio raises many questions that still need to be fully answered, which can leave viewers unsatisfied. As for whether it's worth watching, that largely depends on individual preferences. If you enjoy psychological thrillers with complex characters, multiple plot lines, and a fair amount of ambiguity, Muted may be worth checking out. However, if you prefer stories with more straightforward narratives and fully developed characters, you might find this somewhat frustrating. Overall, this show offers an engaging but flawed psychological thriller experience. It presents a unique premise and engages viewers with plot lines and a central mystery. Still, the execution sometimes needs to be revised due to unclear motivations and logical inconsistencies. This series has been met with harsh criticism from reviewers, though. It was referred to as an absolute disaster class by the Review Geek, which gave it a score of 2. 510. The review points out that the series' writing fell short despite having a solid premise and intriguing characters. The show was said to be poorly written, especially in the second half, which devolves into an incoherent, nonsensical disaster. The series was also criticized for its long, ponderous shots, characters staring into the distance, and numerous plot inconsistencies and holes. As the story progresses, more and more questions are raised, but the answers provided are unsatisfactory and lead to more questions. The Guardian also gave the show a negative review, referring to it as so bad you'll want to howl at your TV screen, and barely watchable. The review criticizes the series for its gaping plot holes, storylines that don't make sense, and a concept that is inexplicably abandoned at the first opportunity. The character of Sergio, who was mute before the events shown took place, starts talking to people, which makes the title Muted misleading. The review also notes that the female character, Anna, provides several of the most baffling moments against tough competition. The show is implausible and illogical, with characters acting in ways that make no sense and displaying an awareness of facts they couldn't possibly know. The show quickly falls apart despite its atmospheric buildup in the first episode. While the series does an admirable job of maintaining suspense and intrigue, its plot often teeters on the brink of absurdity. Its characters are intriguing, albeit somewhat unrelatable, and their complex dynamics provide much of the series' appeal. For viewers who enjoy psychological thrillers with a twist of the unusual, Muted might hit the mark. However, the series may be too offbeat for those seeking a more grounded narrative. 
but I want to hear your thoughts. Did you like this series? Please tell me in the comments down below. Thanks for watching until the end. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for some more awesome videos on TV shows and movies.